back my art friends. Today we are gonna paint the cutest little piggy. Um, but he's kind of a funky piggy because he's gonna have some glasses and a bow tie on. So let's get going. The colors you're gonna need are blue, white, pink, yellow, green, black, and purple. Don't forget to have your rag and your water bowl handy. You're also gonna want a medium flat brush, a medium round brush, and a small round brush. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our background, and with our background, we are going to make a light blue background with just a little bit of green. So I'm going to take my water, and I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my blue paint, because I want it kind of thin. I wanna be able to see through it a little bit. I'm gonna add a couple X's around my canvas with this watered down blue paint and my medium flat brush. I'm gonna go ahead and wash that brush off. I'm gonna put a little bit of green by my blues. And then I'm gonna go in with my white paint and kind of finish out where my background's gonna go. So to finish the background with my white paint, I'm just gonna go over these, mixing them up as I make X's around my background. And you can mix and mash as much as you want. If you want more blue, add more blue. If you want more green, add more green. I'm just going for a light, messy background. I'm thinking of pigs, so I want a messy background. Now that I have my background finished, I'm gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will lay out where our piggy's gonna go. Let's lay out where our piggy's gonna go. I am going to lay this space out with white paint and my medium round brush. First things first, I'm gonna make a big oval in the middle of my canvas. This is gonna be my pig's head. So a nice big oval right smack dab in the center. Now, his ears are allowed to be um, a little bit lopsided. They do not have to be symmetrical. And this one over here, because I'm gonna have him tilting his head just a little bit, this one's going to go down a little bit more than the other one with a wavy bottom. So it kind of goes out to a point and it has a wave back in. The one up here is gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna go out to a point and kind of wave back in. And then his body is going, in fact, I'm gonna give him a little bit more of a chin. He's a piggy, he's gotta be big. And then for the bottom, I'm just gonna make a little, two little curved lines for his arms and his body. Now I'm gonna fill this whole thing in. I'm gonna switch to my big flat brush to fill this in. Fill this whole space in white. We'll let that dry. When we come back, we will add in some pink to our piggy. Now that we have our white background done, we are going to start painting in this piggy. Uh, we're gonna paint the whole thing pink to start with, so whether you've got a neon pink or a bright pink, we're just gonna paint the whole piggy in pink to start.
Now that we have our piggy pink, we are gonna add a little bit of white to him. So first we're gonna start with same dirty brush, some white on the top of his head. So we're just gonna add a light space on the top of his head just to show a little bit of highlight. And pull that color down. I'm also gonna put a white bit on the top of his ears and just kind of blend that in. we're gonna make the curve for his nose. So right about towards the bottom of his face, we're gonna make a, a big frowny face, kind of like the letter U. We can follow that line back and forth a couple times. And as we bring it up to the front, we're gonna make it just a little bit bigger. This is gonna be our piggy snout. I'm gonna add just a little bit more on the top of his head. I like how bright his ears are. I'm gonna copycat that on the top of his head. Pull some of that color on down, maybe around the left side of his head. This is where my highlights are gonna be, is on the left side of his head. A little bit more on the left side of his body because that's where the highlights are gonna go. We'll start in with some shadow color. All right, wash my brush off. I'm actually going to use purple for my shadow because we're doing a big. Pink and purple just go well together. So with my um, medium round brush and a little bit of purple paint, I'm just going to put a little bit underneath his chin and pull that around maybe over here to the side. I'm just gonna get my brush a little bit wet so that as I kind of pull this color across, it blends in a little bit easier without adding too much more purple to it. If you notice that your colors are not blending well, you can also add a little bit of pink on there. You just wanna add a small shadow underneath this top right side of our piggy. And not at the very bottom of his ears, but right up here along this white spot, we're gonna add a little bit of purple. I'm gonna pull that purple down. It's gonna be where his ears go folding over just a little bit. And then right there along where his ear and his head meet. All right, let's wash that brush off. I'm gonna go in and place my piggy nose on here. So right here in this area, I'm gonna switch to my baby brush. Right here in this area, I'm gonna add a little bit of purple on the underside of where his piggy nose would be. And then underneath that with black paint, I'm gonna add a little bump for his mouth. Now with that purple that I just put on there for the bottom of his nose, I'm gonna kind of bring this color around. I'm just gonna pull that color up by blending a little bit, maybe adding a little bit more pink to it so it blends a little easier. Kind of show where the base of his nose is. Blend that in with the top. I'll bring those two colors together. All right, now we're going somewhere. 
I'm gonna use black for his nostrils and they are going to look just like little teardrop shapes. And paint those in. And we're gonna give him his little piggy chin with a super small line right here. We're just gonna do a curved purple. Show his little piggy chin. Blend this black up in with the purple to his nose. All right, let's move on to some piggy eyes. Now we are going to put some glasses on him because, well, he's hilarious. Um, so his piggy eyes, we're going to have to make sure that they're at an angle because we already tilted his head a little bit. So we want to make sure that his eyes are also at an angle. So I'm going to take my finger with some black paint and put a black circle here. And this one's going to be up just a little bit higher. with some purple paint on my bitty brush. I'm going to make him a little bit of an eyebrow over the top and one underneath as well. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little highlight on his eye with the back of my brush. I'm gonna put a white dot in the top right corner of his eye, and then a smaller one just below that. And do the same thing over here. So a big white dot at the top right corner and a smaller one just below it. Now I'm going to let him dry really well, and when I come back, we're gonna start adding in our polka dots. Now that little piggy is dry, we are gonna add some um, very specific highlights and then we're gonna go in with the polka dots. So with my baby brush, I am going to add just a couple of little lines on his nose, starting at the left and pulling over to the right. And they don't have to be full lines, they could be what I like to call ghost lines, where sometimes you see them and sometimes you don't. I'm gonna do the same thing right around his eyes. Just a little bit of ghost line on the top and bottom. and across his head as well. There we go, just across his head as well. And the last spot is on his ears. So just one more little highlight along his ears. Now let's talk about these polka dots. I'm gonna use my finger. Okay, my finger's gonna get every one of these polka dots done. I'm going to start with a little bit of purple and I'm gonna put these purple dots in his ear along the edges just to kind of show that there's a little bit more of a shadow down there. And I'm gonna do that to both ears. I'm also gonna add a little bit of purple along the side of his body. And where else would I have a little bit of shadow that I'd want to add some purple polka dots? Ooh, probably right along here, right between his eyes and his nose. And also along this side of his face, he would have a little bit of a shadow. So I'm not putting a whole lot of paint on my finger. I want it to really be a very gentle polka dot as it goes up. And then I'm gonna start going in with my next color. So maybe I wanna go in with some highlights. So I just switched to some white. I'm gonna add some white dots on his forehead, maybe a couple on his ears.
down the left side of his face. Wipe that finger off. Add a little bit. I got some black on it, so I had to wipe it off. Put a little bit on his nose. over here on his left side of his shoulder, so that highlight. And then really the rest of the polka dot colors are just kind of for fun. Um, you can put them anywhere you want. You do want to fill up most of his body. You don't have to fill up the whole thing. Remember, we are going to put a bow tie down here. But, you know, you could take some yellow and add some yellow in his highlighted spots. You can add some green or blue, just about any place you want. If you want to add extra colors, I mean, I strongly encourage a little bit of creativity. Now that we have our polka dots done, let's get back to our details. First things first, we are gonna add some glasses to our piggy. You can choose any kind of glasses color you want, but I am going to choose black glasses for my piggy. And these glasses are going to be, they are gonna go across his eyes, just like this. So make a straight line that angles across his eyes. And then they're gonna swoop down and up. Down and up. And you can make them as thick or as thin as you want. I'm gonna make mine just a little bit thicker. yellow paint to the top to be just a highlight and a little bit around the corners. And now you have to decide if you want to add a bow tie on your piggy or some flowers in your hair. If you want to know how to do flowers, you can go see one of our other videos and add some flowers across the hair. But I did say I was going to add a bow tie. So with my medium round brush, I am going to add a purple bow tie. What I'm gonna do is make a circle just under his chin. With that circle, I'm gonna make a triangle with a wavy line and a triangle with a wavy line. And I'm just gonna paint this in one solid purple color. I'm going to go in some white paint and I'm going to drop three spots of white paint on each side. Then I'm going to take that white paint and pull it into the bow tie. I'm going to add a little highlight on the top of that bow tie circle. A little bit of pink in there too. I want that to show off just a little bit. And some in the center. A 
Last thing I'm gonna do before we finish is we are gonna outline this piggy. And what we're gonna do to outline a piggy is we just use a little bit of black paint. And we are going to do an outline all the way around his head. And if this makes you nervous, you can absolutely use a Sharpie later on. But I'm gonna take my black paint and I'm gonna outline just parts of my piggy. So maybe right along here, along this side. I'm not gonna outline the whole thing. I don't think there's a need for that. But I can outline where his face separates from his ear. Maybe right along these lines. Maybe outline the bottom part of his ear or maybe even where his ear creases. So sometimes these very gentle details with a black line just kind of help make your image jump out a little bit. Maybe even outline part of this bow tie right here. And don't forget, when you finish your piggy, find a color that's gonna stand out on your canvas, sign your initials. Be sure to post your finished product on our Facebook page, Painting With A Purpose, because we love to see what you guys are doing at home. Don't forget to stay creative, stay kind, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye.